In this video, we're going to reveal what the model Bella Hadid eats in a day and give an all things nutrition review. What does she eat to keep her supermodel physique? And what's her secret? Spoiler alert, she loves pizza. Stay tuned to find out what Bella Hadid eats for breakfast, lunch and dinner and my thoughts on it as a registered nutritionist. Let's take a look at what she eats for breakfast. She told Harper's Bazaar that for breakfast, she either makes eggs and sausage at home or heads to the bagel store below her apartment. She said, my go-to is an egg sandwich on a plain bagel. One time I wanted to be healthy and got a gluten-free bagel, but I promise you they suck. So eggs for breakfast is a good way for Bella to start the day. Eggs are definitely a good source of protein as well as nutrient dense. They contain B vitamins, folate, iron, choline and more. But what about the sausage? Sausage is high in saturated fat and also highly processed. Highly processed meat has been linked to the development of certain types of cancer. So I wouldn't recommend Hadid to have sausage every day as a breakfast option, but to consider it more of a once in a blue moon type of food. What about the bagels? Well, bagels will give Hadid a good source of carbohydrates, which will give her energy to start the day. But if she chooses a slice of whole grain toast to accompany her eggs instead, then she'll be getting more fiber. As for the gluten-free bagels, not only do they suck, Hadid's words not mine, but they may not be the healthiest option. Gluten-free doesn't necessarily mean better or healthier. In fact, going gluten could be a mistake. If you want to find out more, watch our video, Gluten Free, What a Mistake. I'll leave a link in the description below. Overall, Bella's breakfast gets a thumbs up from me, but could make some small changes. Before we find out what Bella Hadid has for lunch and dinner, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to join my community. Let's get to the truth about nutrition together. Now let's dive back in. So what does she have for lunch? In 2017, she told Harper's Bazaar, during shoots, she'll break around 1 p.m. And she said, I'll usually have salmon or chicken and veggies, if not, then pasta. Having a good source of protein such as chicken or salmon at lunch will boost her satiety levels and will keep her fuller for longer. So this is a good thing. The salmon will also give her a good source of omega-3 fatty acids and is also rich in other nutrients such as vitamin D, selenium, they're high in protein and low in saturated fats. So it's definitely a good choice for lunch. The vegetables will provide her with all of the good stuff such as vitamins, minerals and fiber. Yep, I mentioned fiber again. I'll probably say fiber a lot in this video. Let me know in the comments below how many times I actually say it. Not only will Hadid's gut thank her for it, but it will help her keep for the for longer, which means she'll be less likely to grab an afternoon snack. Her lunch includes anti-inflammatory foods like vegetables and fish, which is a good thing for Hadid to try and help manage her Lyme disease symptoms. The model was diagnosed with Lyme disease, a bacterial illness caused by a bite from an infected tick in 2012. She still suffers complications from the disease. Only a year ago, she announced on Instagram that she's feeling stronger. Pasta is also an option for Hadid's lunch. She's not afraid of carbs. She told people following a Victoria's Secret show, I'm going to eat pasta right now. She also said, if you want to have a piece of bread, go have a piece of bread. And she's also not afraid to have burgers and fries either. It's good that she doesn't completely cut out carbs from her diet. Some people think starchy foods are fattening, but ground for ground, they contain fewer than half the calories or fat. Carbohydrates are needed for energy and is fuel for the brain. When it comes to carbohydrate, the key thing is to think about the quality of carbohydrates. Complex carbs like brown rice, sweet potatoes, or quinoa contain starch, but they also contain fiber, calcium, iron, and B vitamins. So it's good to swap your white rice for brown rice every now and again. As for the burgers and fries, well, she shouldn't feel guilty about eating her favorite takeout every now and again. Every diet should include the foods you like in moderation. As I always say, enjoy food and stay happy and healthy. Now let's have a look at what she likes to drink. She told Harper's Bazaar, I order a lot of green juices and keep them around on set. I have ginger shots in a cooler and I'll drink one if I'm feeling low. I'm also a big coffee drinker. I'll have three espressos before noon. 
You can also tell she's a green juice fan based on what's reportedly in her fridge. Making the appearance is blueprints, curl it up and lime kick flavors. But are green juices good for Bella? Well, there are definite pros and cons to regularly drinking green juice. Green juice is a good way to get in your vegetables if you don't like to eat them. But juicing vegetables gets rid of the fiber, which is not a good thing. The fiber from the vegetables not only helps to keep your digestive system functioning smoothly, but can also help with feeling full, balancing your blood sugar levels, feeding the good bacteria in your gut and supporting your immune system. In the process of juice making, juice is extracted from the vegetables, leaving behind its beneficial fiber and providing a concentrated dose of calories and sugar. So if Hadid is having green juice daily, she also needs to make sure she's taking in fiber from other sources because the drinks don't have the fiber that you get from say eating a salad. Another issue with green juice is the sugar. Although the drinks look mostly veggie filled, the main ingredients may actually be fruit juice or sweeteners to make the drink more palatable. So if you do go the green juice route, check the ingredient list on the back to make sure veggies take up the first few spots and scope out the sugar count. What about Hadi's love for coffee? Is it good for her? Thanks to its high level of antioxidants and beneficial nutrients, coffee seems to provide some health benefits. The key with coffee though, is to make sure you're watching what you put in it. Sweets and creamers and lots of sugar can turn the warm beverage from a health drink into a diet detractor. That said, it appears that Hadid likes her coffee straight up. Also, moderation is key when it comes to drinking coffee. Coffee is healthy in moderation. Two cups a day is totally fine for most people, so those three espresso Hadid has, it might be worth sticking to just two. If you want to find out more about the benefits of coffee, watch our video, Is Coffee Good For You? to find out more. I'll leave a link in the description below. From Hadi's Instagram story post of her fridge, we can also see that she likes to sip on San Pellegrino. I wouldn't recommend drinking this regularly as it's full of sugar. Flavored varieties like the ones in Hadi's fridge can have over 15 grams of sugar, and the American Heart Association recommends no more than 25 grams of added sugar per day for women, and no more than 36 grams for men. But having it as a treat every now and again is okay. Maybe opt for kombucha instead, which is also stocked in Hadid's fridge. You can get varieties without added juice, which are low in sugar than other packaged beverages and a better choice if you want something sweet and probiotic filled to help your gut. I don't have time in this video to go into details about the benefits of kombucha, but watch our video, Kombucha, what really happens when you drink it to find out more. I'll leave a link in the description below. Now is dinner time. Hadid likes to eat dinner early, she told Harper's. Because growing up, her family used to have dinner at 6 p.m. She said, all of my friends are like, what do you mean seven? Let's go at 10. 10 is my bedtime, she told Harper's. So when she's dining alone, Hadid likes to have her evening meal at 7.30 p.m. An early dinner is a good idea for many reasons. Why? Well, if you're waiting too long to eat dinner, by the time you finally sit down to eat, you're starving and much more likely to overeat. And often, the later we eat, the more tired we are and stressed from the day, and we're more likely to make bad food choices. As for what she typically eats when she dines alone, well, it's often takeout, but she does choose healthy options. She told Harper's, I used to make dinner for myself all the time, but now when I leave work, I order food and it's there by the time I get home. Westville is the restaurant I always order from. The saute kelp is my favorite. Takeout does tend to have more oil than you would have if you cooked at home, but ordering in a salad with lean protein and skipping unhealthy toppings is always a good option. The portions can be bigger with takeout as well, so that's something you want to be careful about, but you can always save leftovers to have for the next day. Hadid also enjoys pizza. But I, I really love eating and it makes me happy and I love food and every day I try to start these diets and you know, make myself feel healthier, but I think that we're running around so much during fashion week that, you know, I'm just gonna grab that sandwich or that slice of pizza. It's just the model has posted several pictures of pizza or holding a slice. Bella, we might have more in common than I thought. Hadith eats healthily most of the time, but she's not about total restriction, which is good. 
Not every meal or every day has to be ideal and that's okay. So if you fancy pizza, go for it. If you do eat pizza regularly, always have a salad with it. It will give you something else to crunch that will fill you up. Another pizza trick, when you're out, ask the restaurant to go light on the mozzarella and then when the pizza arrives, sprinkle on a little parmesan cheese. Parmesan has so much flavour because it's aged, so you get by with less cheese and that cuts back on calories and fat. Also, these days, there's tons of healthy pizza options. For example, you can make your own cauliflower pizza crust. That being said, be sure to enjoy your pie. You shouldn't feel guilty for craving a slice. Every diet should include the foods you like in moderation. And there's nothing wrong with pizza once a week. And judging by photos of Hadid's food, her diet still has room for indulgences. Let's sum up with an all things nutrition review. Bella tries to have three meals a day and doesn't skip breakfast, so she's not missing an opportunity to get beneficial nutrients. I would say her diet is fairly balanced and doesn't avoid starchy foods. From Hadid's photos of her fridge, we can see a lineup of berries, celery and carrot sticks. So she seems to snack on fruit and veg, which provide her with lots of different vitamins and minerals, fibre and beneficial antioxidants. Bella has a variation of protein sources such as eggs, poultry and fish. This is good as she'll be getting the benefits of the different nutrients from the different sources. And she doesn't completely deprive herself of her favourite indulgent food, which is great. It's important still to have foods we consider treats now and again. If you become too restrictive, you will never consider your new diet as a way of life. The key thing is to eat in a way which fuels you. Remember, we are all unique and therefore there is no one size fits all. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do, hit that like button and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to watch more videos just like this. Remember, enjoy food and stay happy and healthy. Catch you on the next video.